A very good afternoon. Hope you're having a fantastic one. And now let's uh, talk about uh, sports and what is happening in the world of uh, sports. My name is Moses Wahisi, and we'll start with the road to AFCON 2027. We know Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, the joint bid, Pamoja bid. We are up and ready for it. I know not ready when we think about facilities, but some positive strides because today we had the groundbreaking of Talanta Sports City where we're going to have a football only stadia, which we are optimistic, hopeful, and the government have said it will be ready by 2025 to host the games. Today, we had the ground breaking, and this is what transpired on that front. We are working with the ministry every day to make sure that Arambe Stars will be ready. And I want to assure you, as you said, Arambe Stars will be ready. Ikiwanja, I've been to all AFCON since 2017. Ikiwanja, is only at par with four in Africa. One in South Africa, one in Senegal, one is being built in Rwanda, na hi yetu. So to kwa hiyo level, kama ile ya Lusail, ilikuwa Qatar. It is a tech-savvy facility designed for top-level live TV broadcasts, VAR, goal line technology, comparable to the very best in the world. You can compare this to any facility in the world, and it will take the boxes. Your Excellency, we have also thought beyond AFCON 27 because this facility will stand beyond the tournament. And so we have thought through utility beyond AFCON. We have imagined revenues from naming rights. We are already thinking of professional management of this space that will turn it into an economic hub. Your Excellency, this is a legacy project. You can see that Kasarani is already under renovation as part of the AFCON hosting preparations. In fact, I'm happy to report that Kasarani is already at 30% of refurbishment. And by December this year, Your Excellency will be inviting you to officially open a refurbished Kasarani Stadium. We are also on a blaze to refurbish other facilities. We are refurbishing Buhungu Stadium in Kakamega, which we have designated as the host venue for Africa's second tier football tournament, the African Nations Championship, or CHAN. And we are already on with that. We are already refurbishing Kandui, in Bungoma, and many, many other places, including Kipchoge Keino Stadium in, in, in uh, Eldoret. Your Excellency, we are also imagining facilities in places like Mombasa, and we have made plans. I know there has been debate on the location of this project. And we have looked at uh, Mombasa, and I'm glad to report to you, Your Excellency, that we have already prepared a plan to have a fitting facility in the coastal region. We want this stadium to be built to world-class standards using military discipline. So I will expect our defense team Aden Duali, the CDF, and, uh, and, and your team to make sure that all the timelines we have agreed are kept by the contractor. And I expect that there will be supervision every week and every two weeks. And I will be here myself every three months until this facility is completed. And we are seriously considering another stadium in Mombasa. There was a huge debate as to whether we should have this facility here or we should have it in Mombasa. For reasons that I was persuaded, we decided that this facility will be here, but we will equally find a place in Mombasa to do a good stadium that will be a low altitude stadium, which will both support our sportsmen in athletics and in other games to train at the low altitude um, facilities in Mombasa. Firm that we are going to work with the Nairobi City Council in the facilities they have mentioned, uh, whether it is the city stadium that they want to convert into Joe Kadenge Stadium. Uh, I want to ask uh, Ababu Namwamba to have consultations with the governor so that we can see 
what facilities and what resources we can make available to support the county government of Nairobi in the construction